during his 2020 campaign, then Democratic presidential contender Joe Biden repeatedly said he was never involved in his son Hunter Biden's business ventures and never discussed them, but a new report published Tuesday appears to refute those claims definitively. For business partners, a vice president, and two assistants at Hunter Biden's now-defunct firm visited the White House more than 80 times when his father was vice president in the Obama administration, Fox News Digital reported. Joan Mayer, who claims to have served as the vice president of Hunter's former investment firm, Rosemont Seneca Advisors, from 2008 to 2017 on LinkedIn, had at least 17 recorded visits to the White House during that period, according to visitor logs examined by Fox News Digital. In October 2009, Mayer attended a vice presidential briefing and had a meeting with Danielle Boren, who was then an aide to Vice President Biden. Just a few weeks later, Mayer had another meeting with Nancy Orloff, who was then an executive assistant to Biden, in the West Wing. The logs also show that in July 2013, Mayer had a meeting with Kellen Suber, another executive assistant to Vice President Biden, in the West Wing, the outlet reported. According to visitor logs, Mayer attended holiday receptions at the vice president's official residence at No. 1 Observatory Circle in December 2013 and 2014. In September 2015, she also attended a Jewish community reception at the same location, Fox News Digital noted further. Additionally, Mayer had a meeting with Caitlin Demers, who was serving as an associate counsel in Biden's office, in June 2016 at the Eisenhower Executive Office Building, EOB, which houses the vice president's ceremonial office, the outlet said, citing the logs. Meanwhile, and Marie Person, another former assistant of Hunter Biden, visited the Obama White House on at least five occasions before leaving the firm in 2014 to join then-Vice President Biden's staff, as per the visitor logs. One of her visits in April 2014 included a meeting with Kathy Chan, a former Biden aide who now serves as the Pentagon's deputy director of protocol. It is likely that the meeting was related to her job interview at the Pentagon, the outlet speculated. During her five-year tenure working for Biden, Chen regularly communicated with Hunter, the report said. She transmitted information about then VP schedule and passed messages directly from him to Hunter and assistants in his office, as Fox News Digital reported previously. In May 2014, Person was hired as a staff assistant to the then VP. Her brother, Francis Fren Person, was a longtime Biden aide who left the White House a few months after and Marie joined Biden's office, said the report, adding. Fox Business previously reported on friend person's ties to Hunter and how Rosemont Seneca advisors had a financial stake in a company run by Fran and a Chinese executive with ties to officials at some of the highest levels of the Communist Party of China. Person previously claimed that Hunter Biden, Rosemont Seneca advisors or any affiliate or associate have never held any equity in any Harv's affiliated company, despite multiple emails from Hunter and his business partner Eric Schwerin contradicting this claim. Friend would go on to visit the White House at least seven times after he left his role there and later became a top executive at the Harves Group, a DC-based affiliate of China's Harve Century Group, a top-tier private Chinese real estate development firm, according to a 2015 email from Friend to Hunter. Person previously told Fox News Digital the visits were personal in nature and that he was visiting with old colleagues and friends. During their roles in the Obama-Biden administration, both person's siblings stayed in frequent communication with Hunter Biden and Devin Archer, then president of Rosemont Seneca Advisors, using their government emails. Schwerin, who managed almost every aspect of the financial affairs of the Bidens, according to Hunter's ex-wife, had visited the White House at least 27 times during the Obama administration, the report said. A review of visitor logs revealed that he had met with Anne-Marie Person at least three times between February and June 2016. Steve Ricchetti, Biden's current White House counselor, also met with Schwerin at least twice in 2016. These meetings took place in Room 272 on February 29th and in Room 276 on August 17th at the old Executive Office Building, OEOB, said the outlet.